Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the new information that we have for Episode 11 of Season 4. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got the new synopsis, and we've got a load of photos. The photos is really what I want to focus on, but let's break down the synopsis at the start of this video. Okay, so this is episode 11, so the mid-season premiere is going to be premiering January 20th, which is the Suspicious Minds episode. And so this episode will be on the 27th, so exactly a week after, and this is how the synopsis goes. Kara joins Nia on a trip to Nia's hometown to visit her family during the town's annual harvest festival. While home, Nia's mother encourages her daughter to embrace her destiny. Meanwhile, Alex deals with a street drug that is turning people violent and giving them temporary superpowers. Okay, so let's quickly break this down before we go into the photos. So there's nothing much in this synopsis. It's pretty, you know, simple. I think this episode could be really good. It could be like a mid -Vale episode that was amazing. It's giving me vibes like that. And if it is like that, I will be very happy. But we'll have to wait and see because we don't really know any of these characters. You have to remember. But like when we went to mid -Vale, it's characters we know, but you know, when they were younger, so, you know, the origins and sort of creating that idea is already sort of implanted in us, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it will be pretty good anyway. But Harvest Festival? Really? It's the winter right now? That should have been in, like, September. I'm sorry, but that just stood out to me. And so Alex is going to be trying to take down this street drug that is turning people really violent and is making them have temporary superpowers so you know something weird is going on but let's break these photos down because they released a load of photos and these photos obviously are in this episode and they link directly into the synopsis and we can go deeper okay so the first photo we see is of Nia and maybe her dad I don't know or it's some sort of just person that's gonna be helping them in the episode this really reminds me of Argo City because they're all in white even Kara if we go on to the next photo in a minute which we will and everything is amped up even the background you can see the lighting outside is really amped up and it seems kind of heaven like and so that reminds me of Argo so I have a feeling they're going to be doing some sort of like ritual or something because this is about Nia's powers and the family is going to try and embrace it and trying to make Nia fulfill her destiny as this superpower being. We see Kara and Nia's sister who is going to be debuting in this episode. I'm looking forward to her and her mum which we'll see in a sec and again like I said they're all in white, very weird, very Argo sissy like which kind of excites me because I really do like the sort of aesthetic they're going for here and yeah it's kind of creepy I'm not gonna lie it's kind of creepy it seems like they're doing some sort of ritual but we'll have to wait and see and we get another photo of Nia's sister and we see Nia as she arrives back home and that's again with her sister and we see Kara because Kara is going to be tagging along we see them all at the door really really excited to see just normal Kara for once I feel like we haven't had normal Kara it's always been Kara plus Katko or Kara plus Supergirl or Kara plus DEO it's not just Kara we really haven't had that much this season last season we had a lot of it to do with like mon and her just being normal I'm really excited to see her be normal and these photos prove that she's just being normal it's just family life just instead with Nia this time and so moving on to the next photo we see Nia's sister and the house is full of greenery you can see they've got like vegetables and fruit and yeah very colorful and so the next photo after this is in fact of the family and I do believe that first photo is in fact of Nia's dad but I can't really 100% be sure because this is just a side photo so we'll have to wait and see but it, it seems like Nia's dad is going to be appearing in this episode as well. Also we see Nia's mum for the very first time along with her sister and she's shaking Kara's hand looking forward to that. I don't specifically know the actress but I know she's pretty well known. We see Nia as she's hugging her mum for like the first time in 
presumably a long time and we see Kara smiling in the background and we move on to the next photo and this is like a sort of family dinner and Kara's here obviously Kara's you know taking a very big liking to Nia and Nia's taking a liking to Kara so obviously they're at that stage where they can just go together even to her family which is kind of crazy it's gone kind of quick I don't know if I 100% buy into their relationship going this quick but you know, I think over time they can build it up. And I just, like I said before, I love this aesthetic. It's really, really fancy and really colourful and bright. And again, really, really bright in the background, contrasting with the green of the plants. And like, this is like some weird shit, I'm just telling you. I don't know, it, it looks so nice, but it's too nice maybe okay so we see a photo of Nia at the dinner table and they're eating and we get various different shots we see her mum with the wine glass surrounded by the green and we see Kara as she's not done her knife and fork properly ha 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 Melissa and that's just a little funny thing but anyway they're smiling they're having a good time we can see like the wall behind with flowers continuing that same aesthetic we got a nice painting, Nia's smiling, so is Kara in the next photo. It just seems like everything's really happy, and I think it's suspiciously happy, so we'll wait and see. But with Nia presumably embracing her powers, embracing what her future holds, it seems like this could be some sort of cult-like thing that she was brought into or she was born into, like who bred her. Because in the next photo, which is kind of crazy, we see all these people dressed in white and could this be linked into what's going on there is it sort of like a cult type idea because it seems really too nice to be true i mean it could actually be true it could literally be that's how they dress and that's their life but we see alex in the middle of this along with deo agents in tactical gear they have guns so shit's going crazy everyone's running away but like i said there's people in those white suits and even a woman as well so it seems like she's in a dress Maybe this links into what's going on. I think it's suspicious that they're all wearing white and we saw that the family was wearing white and have they been brought into something really strange and odd? It could be because Alex is here pulling out a gun. What is she pulling a gun on? Maybe this is to do with the drugs, but also it's just very, very suspicious. Maybe she's tracked down this drugs all the way back to where Nia and Kara are. Maybe that's what's happening, but we see a really awesome photo of Alex and Jean in this tilted frame and this is just super badass look at her and you see Jean in the background good seeing Jean around also we see Supergirl and it seems to be quite rural so I do believe maybe it is linked in to what's going on with Nia and Kara and the family in this episode because we see in front of this tractor and in front of the hay and like a farm so I think it could all be linked in and also in the next photo you see those people in the white suits again and loads of people are wearing it so it seems like a sort of cult like situation and maybe this is where people are getting superpowers from but we see Kara holding up two people one guy in a white suit one guy or girl I can't really see but an alien nevertheless being held up by Kara and Supergirl so I don't know something's going on with these two and in the next photo we see Kara and Alex and there's a girl next to her and there's Jean and this girl looks really really kind of shocked and Alex is talking to Kara quite intensely so has Kara done something to these people as she like totally flip shit because in the next photo we see Kara and Alex from a different angle and it does seem like they're arguing because Alex is pointing to the ground and she seems to be quite confrontational so what on earth is going on? I'm actually very intrigued as I've gone over these photos and sort of dug in deeper than what I saw at first, so I'm really looking forward to this. I think this has like a cult type vibe, so we'll have to wait and see. And also, spotting a thing that is very vital because we know they're going for the Harvest Festival, this definitely does link in. I'm sorry for speculating so much, but it does link in. You can see them all with the white suits, and in the background it says Harvest Festival. What do we know is happening? They're going to be visiting the Harvest Festival with Nia and Kara in Nia's hometown. It's all going down here. Definitely linked in. Sorry for the speculation. I only just realized that just now. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.